concept of the true church, quote unquote, is problematic for this reason. When we claim that our particular church, as we understand and follow Christ in it, is the true church, in such a way that we say all other churches are false churches, thus we are true, we're actually dividing the church all over again. I agree with the late Leslie Newbigin, who's profoundly shaped my own thinking, that regardless of schisms and divisions in the past, there is still only one church. That church exists in many different expressions and forms, but it is inherently one. Therefore, when we speak of a particular church as the true church, there's a real danger, because that danger is the pride of position, the pride of sectarianism that suggests we are that church, we know what that church is, and we can see it and we can tell you, you ought to come to a true church. Now, in the West, Protestants and Catholics have been guilty of this kind of de designation. My Catholic friends who say they are in the true church because they have the authority of the apostles in the Vatican, though I respect that position, I don't think generally modern Catholic theology understands true as excluding all others when it speaks of Protestants and other Christians as separated brothers and sisters. What it means by that is that we are separated from the life of what they believe is the one visible church. But they're not saying we're not in the church. They're not even saying that our communities, in one sense, don't reflect something of the church's reality, because even the present pope, when he was Cardinal Ratzinger, spoke of other sister communities that were non-Roman Catholic as sisters in Christ. This kind of thinking, I believe, is not only popular today since Vatican II, but it's helpful, because if we can stay away from saying, my church is the true church, to the exclusion of all other churches, we can actually stop demonizing each other have a conversation, love each other, and pursue a non-sectarian unity that allows us to learn, grow, and do the mission of Christ.